it is time, it is time to brew your best beer. Brought to you by Beer Grains Supply Company, BrewTubers Online Brewers Club, Brew UK, Panhead Brewery, Tanner Ritchie, Finney's Homebrew Emporium, Brig Selve, Hackney Brewery, Hashigo Saki, Mangrove Jacks, Sprig and Fern Tavern, Yakima Valley Hops. SJ Poor here with another beer review for the 2014 SJ Poor Challenge. This beer is from one of our local guys. Actually, it's a pair of guys, Chef and Gadget, who at this point do not have a YouTube channel, but I'm going to work on them on getting a YouTube channel because, come on, Chef and Gadget? It's great. That is the greatest YouTube name ever. And the, the, the videos are endless just with that name. <laughs> they really are. So, guys, I'm telling you, you need to start a channel. So, nice little hiss. Mm. Nice aroma off the crack. Very good. We'll go for a pour. I want to pour MM a little bit here. She's joining me in these in these reviews. The ingredients for this this one is uh, well. He actually wrote down. They were actually wrote down their. Uh, their amounts. So I'm going to go ahead and put it out there since they, they did that. So it's 13 and a quarter pounds of two row pale, six pounds of crystal 40, six pounds of carapils, 7.5 because it actually says here 75 pounds, which that wouldn't be right. Or 0.75. Or there it is, it's 0.75. Thank you. I see the points way out here in the end. Dextrose, six ounces of Columbus, four and three quarter ounces of Simcoe, and two and a quarter ounces of Challenger. The actual ABV for this beer is 2.8% really? with an IBU of 90. 2.8? Did I say what I said? I'm sorry. 8.2. I all of a sudden went dys dyslexic, I guess. Apparently. 2.8, man. He made that small I was one. Say. <laughs> We are fixing to be impressed. <laughs> now, of course, right off the bat, she got the initial pour, and hers actually, mine was pouring good right there until the very end, and all of a sudden I got a a, a blast of, of head there. So, beautiful, white, big, foamy head. The typical burnt orange color of uh, that you see with an IPA. Um, cloudy. Yeah, I can't really see through this beer at all. I can kind of see the shade on the other side of it, but that's that's about it. But uh, kind of, uh, for lack of a better way of putting it, what I would expect to see of a homebrewed IPA, appearance-wise. The going to into the nose uh, from the crack, I get a real good aroma on the crack of the beer. Um, didn't get as much through the pour. Let me get into the head. I gotta try and smell through the head there a little bit. But I'm, I'm picking up your typical citrus hops. That would be the uh, Simcoe, yeah. I'm getting that uh, little bit of grapefruit. But uh, not a real huge aroma on it, but nice. It's, it's, it's right there. Very nice aroma. So I'm digging in. This is one of those that kind of punches you in the mouth. Oh, in fact. Well, that's nice. Um, I'm digging this because I'm actually, I'm picking, I am picking up some of the malt through the back, through, through it. Not, I mean, it could be a little bit more malt, but I am actually picking some of the malt up. I'm getting the, the hops are really present. I mean, wow, that yeah, is that really drying off are, at the end. It, Huge wow. drying off at the end, like makes my tongue want to roll up drying off at the end. Yeah, yeah. Now that now that I'm giving it a minute here, it uh, yeah, even 
<laughs> Even the inside of my upper lip kind of shriveled up a little bit. So you, you, you hit it for a big IPA of 8.2%. That's an Imperial. That's an Imperial IPA. You, you hit the threshold of over 8%. And it's basically, that's a double. So you, you what you did there was a double IPA. Um, with the 90, with the 90 IBUs and uh, 8.2 ABV. Um, so we we are or n are not supposed to compare these to other challenge beers. You are not supposed to compare these to other challenge beers. Nope, nope. That would be inappropriate. So it's okay to challenge to to, to uh, That's actually a really good point that was brought up through discussions um, on on the reviews and whatnot. And I agree with that. It's not appropriate to to compare it to other challenge beers, but it's it's appropriate to compare it to a commercial beer. You know, so if there's a, a commercial beer out there that you, uh, that reminds you of, I mean, that's cool. Yeah, really? Really? Yeah. Huh. See, I, 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 I haven't had that many of those that, the Arrogant Bastard doesn't stick in my head quite as much. Carbonation is, is really good. Just burped. Arrogant Bastard more for the fact that Arrogant Bastard is one of those that punches you in the mouth with the hop. Presence. Yeah, they do. Yeah. That is a really uh, hoppy. I do taste a little bit of the malt in there, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would actually prefer just a little bit more sweet malt, you know, to come through to kind of help balance out uh, the IBUs on this. Now, this is a nice, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm impressed with this because. This has the taste of a higher uh, IBU. IBU. It does. You yeah, know, it absolutely does. Than, than 90. I mean, so well done and on you know on and pushing the limits with your hops and, and wherever you place them because I don't know where you placed them throughout the beer, but uh, uh, yeah, well done. Um, liking this. This is going to actually end this portion because you know, don't want to get in too much of it, but. I'm, I'm digging it. It's a nice beer. So, this is going to end this portion of the video. I'll do that. Oh, right. Sorry, I'm confused. Right, right. Sorry. I move, now I move into the other part of the video where we sit down and, and we'll dissect this beer uh, a little bit more and I'll send that off to, I don't know how they'll get it. But uh, maybe I can try and put they it into something. Do and, a YouTube video. Yeah, right yeah. Now. So I'll, I'll find a way to, to get that to them to visit. But uh, Chef and Gadget, well done. Welcome to the challenge. Uh, you brewed a proper beer. Yeah, yeah. This is this is a great deal. This is a uh, you know for two guys that are fresh in the home brewing. Yeah, oh yeah. That's a great job. Well done. Well done. And I met these guys. I'm going to be over at their place to view. Their brew. Brew and shoot some footage over there. They're going to be on the tubes whether they like it or not. <laughs> One fashion or another. So now we all end up there. I know. This is SJ. I know. We'll catch you on the next review.